We have some new information today about the former USA Gymnastics team doctor who will likely spend the rest of his life in prison for abusing young athletes. Larry Nassar's attorney says inmates attacked Nassar in prison in May. That lawyer is also asking a new judge to take over the case and to give last Nassar a new sentence. Overall, it really has been a very tough year for USA Gymnastics as leaders now are embroiled in lawsuits stemming from the Nassar case. So for Hoosier Olympian Sam Peshik, it was serendipitous timing to step in with a new approach to her beloved sport. Good arms, arms, arms. When Sam Peshik founded Beam Queen Boot Camp last year, she had no idea what was ahead for her and for women's okay, gymnastics. So I was just planning to do one a year, and after the very first boot camp, we had inquiries from gyms from 23 different states and three different countries. So good job, great work. Now um, Sam and her coaching staff of fellow Olympians Jordan Weaver and Bridget Sloan is on track to host more than a thousand gymnasts at more than a dozen of these weekend camps this year. It's completely blown up. The demand in the very year that women's gymnastics made headlines, accused of prioritizing money and medals over athletes safety. Nobody was even concerned whether or not we were being sexually abused. The nation watched in January as more than 140 athletes came forward detailing graphic stories of abuse by former USA Gymnastics doctor Larry Nassar. Well, the crisis horrified parents. Some even now sharing that they considered pulling their daughters the sports future star. I did, I really did. I mean, um, it was it was tough. Nicole says her daughter Madison started gymnastics when she was two. This year they started traveling for alternative training and it was at this camp that the 11 year old broke through a plateau. I actually got my back tuck on the high beam. The progress achieved with the new vibe. They were encouraging a lot and it was help, really helped me to get a new skill and made me feel more confident. I'd want you on my team. I grew up doing this sport and it meant so much to me so I wanted to weather the storm if you will. I wanted to be in it and be part of the positive change. Sam says her original business idea was creating a female empowerment conference disguised as a beam queen boot camp for kids Big jump square press and who better to teach and model resiliency than Jordan press those palms to the back wall her coaching at DeVos and Fishers your leg comes up is just days after standing center stage at the ESPYs honored with the Arthur Ashe Courage Award. I think Jordan knows that she's in a, a powerful position in a good way of knowing that a lot of people are looking towards her. Always on the go, we continued our conversation with Jordan on the phone. Obviously, it's been um, a tough year and a half for a lot of us. It was really awesome to be able to stand up there on that stage and hope that we're making an impact and people were watching and, and understanding that this is a real issue, but we've got a lot of work to do. Nice girl. She's doing a lot of behind the scenes work to try and help change laws and really make it a lot safer for kids in sports and athletics growing up. We're still still looking for a lot of accountability and a lot of people accepting that accountability, but um, we're not going to stop until we make sure that we can be confident telling parents that their daughters are going to be safe in this sport of gymnastics. I do see a more encouraging style, a more letting the kids um, vocalize how they feel and being able to support them and however they feel and encourage them to do better. But I feel like I'm giving back and it's kind of my contribution to help the world's toughest sport just a little bit easier for these girls. 80 girls at that camp over the weekend, and they were traveling here from all over the country. So these gymnasts, mm -hmm. you know, Jordan and Sam and Bridget, they are hard workers. They, they have jobs Monday through Friday. Right. They leave those jobs to travel across the country to various gyms because they want to make a positive sure. difference. And, uh, you know, they're close to the sport. They, they were just the stars of not too long ago. So the girls are listening to yeah. them, and they're watching what they do and what they yeah, say. Very, and they're good, strong role models, yeah. too, clearly. They are. Yeah. All right, well, here in central Indiana,